um, and I'm not forming a really easily discernible burr now. I'm just going to keep going on this side. Starting to form a burr with the X form that I can really feel. Something else I should mention here. So I'm doing the two handed technique. Um, I'm supporting it with one hand like this and one hand like this. If you're right at the tip, your control isn't that good and your thumb can touch the belt. Um, if you're too far back, your control of the tip isn't very good. I like to be about here, roughly. That way I can. I can see and feel exactly where the tip is, um, but it's not too far away so it's awkward or, or my hand shading it where I can't see it. So it's, it's kind of this weird balance, but about there is what I like to do. Let's check for a burr. Okay, yeah, I think we're good enough here. Let's do the other side. One other thing I should mention, I, I talked about how you lift the handle of the knife as you go through the through the curve. The other thing is, because the, the curve brings the edge so far back towards the spine, the edge angle actually gets higher from here to here. Um, so what you really have to do is both do this and do this. Now, this part of it is very slight, and it really only occurs about from here on, it's just a bit of a change. And again, the real key is to make sure that the point of the point is touching when you're done. If it doesn't, then you're never gonna get a sharp point. All right, I'm, I'm thinking this is real close. I'm gonna, yeah, let me do some back and forth deburring passes. I'm gonna turn this machine down at the slowest speed so it'll deburr nice and smoothly. strange the cork's really revealing um, sometimes you think you've removed the burr um, when in fact you've straightened it up and when you cork the cork the cork tends to kind of tell you the truth feels pretty much burr free. I might feel a little bit on one side here. 
to me, this is one of the hardest things to do in the work chart because you can't really control the speed and the contact force as finely as you can with a bench stone, for example. So, I'm going to be really, really serious about deburring this 100%. You do want to go to a super, super fine belt like the 6000 um, or switch to some other type of abrasive to do it. All right, let's grab some fresh phone book paper and see what this edge will do. Okay, good, that's nice and smooth. I want to be honest, when I was testing it previously, I got several hangs that had told me Told me I hadn't really deburred it properly. Now I feel like I've done a pretty good job. There's still a hang or two in it, but uh, I think that's pretty good. I definitely think that's pretty good. Oh, look at that, me tearing it right at the end there. Uh, let me sacrifice a little bit of arm here for the sharpening gods here. Hopefully you can see that. That just took it right off. Okay, um, I think that's a pretty decent demo of the work sharp and how I freehand with it. Um, this helps someone out. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later. One final sharpness test. Um, I kept saying over and over again uh, different things about the point and how to make sure you kept a sharp point, got a sharp point. This isn't the absolute last word in sharp points. It's it's pretty pretty pointy. Um, just kind of want to show what it does to phone book paper. It, it digs in really, really easily. So definitely that point maintained its sharpness. Um, and in fact, I think got far sharper than it was when I started. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show.